Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex, and welcome to another exciting episode of Collector's Corner. Today, I'm continuing upon one of the other videos that I reviewed the Beast Wars Rhinox. I uh, was hoping they were coming out with more of them, and they did. And I was lucky enough to go to one of the local toy shows here in Chicago, Toy Con Toy Show. They usually have around four, actually like five to six shows throughout the year. And um, I was able to find Rat Trap. Um, really happy. Got him for 15 bucks flat. Um, I think he's a little bit harder to find, especially people, especially if people around my age who, like I said, the Beast Wars rejuvenated them. And he's perfect scale that I could see so far. I can't wait to crack him open, review him. I'm really excited about this. I don't know if they're going to continue any more Beast Wars characters through the Thrilling 30 line. I know they're kind of coming to a close on that. I think they probably have anywhere from seven to nine more figures left to reach to that 30. So I don't know if any more Beast Wars are, are supposed to appear on those last ones. If they do, I do hope they at least finish the Maximals off with Cheetor and then Dinobot. Tigertron would be a plus, but I'll be cool with Cheetor, Dinobot, Rhinox. And like I said, the Prime already scales for me. Yeah, it'd be cool if they redid the Prime as an ape like Optimus, Optimus, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And uh, I know I had said before when it came to Transformers, I was going to cut down to the line of Masterpieces. But at the same time, I don't think they're making a Masterpiece Rat Trap anytime soon or a Rhinox or any, or any of the Beast Wars lines. They might. I doubt it. they make all of them. Who knows? If they do, well, then this will be open for trade sometime during the future. Uh, but for now, I am doing that. I'm condensing to the Masterpieces. But when it came to uh, the Beast Wars line and the redoing of them, I was such a fan. The toys originally, I don't have an original Rat Trap to uh, reference to, to review, compare it to, but, you know, I don't need it <laughs> because this guy, this is all I want. Like I said, I'm all about articulation, paint detail. Uh, I wish, I'm all about nostalgia too. I love G1 and older stuff, but, you know, if I'm getting a superior product, you know, and it pretty much takes me back to my childhood, eh, I, it's a win-win for me. You know, yeah, I would like to have a lot of the older stuff, but the way the market has blown up and people are all about having the um, originals and market value, I'm okay. I'll look from, I'll enjoy from a distance from a friend's collection. But for me, I'm going to get the stuff that I think looks really badass and I can't wait to open them and review them because through this plastic, he looks badass. I can't wait to line them up next to Rhinox and uh, Optimus. So let's get to it because I'm getting really, really excited to open this. So I hope you guys enjoy the review and let's check out Rat Trap. So here's a closer look at Rat Trap's packaging. Uh, standard package for this size transformer. Uh, looks pretty sleek. Comes with a comic book, which I really don't read. If anyone's looking for it, let me know. Uh, here's a closer image of the bio. If you want to pause it, take a read right there. Standard picture in robot and in rat mode. Really excited to get this bad boy open. Uh, can't wait to see what he looks like next to the other guy. So let's uh, take a closer look and see what he has to offer. Here's a closer look at the comic book. I was able to skim through it real quick and realize that it actually had like Ultra Magnus. It had Shockwave in it. I didn't read it just yet. Metroplex. Uh, it is by IDW. So I'm kind of curious to see how that ties in with the Beast Wars, if at all, or with Rat Trap. Um, I've never really looked at the comic books. I kind of just throw them off to the side. Uh, but now I'm kind of curious. It's probably another gimmick uh, to get these kids to keep buying them. I don't blame them. Uh, comic books are always good. But personally, I haven't really looked at them. So if any of you are interested in this, uh, just shoot me a link and let me know. And we'll see what we could do because I don't really collect them. But I am curious to read and see what's going on. So overall, I really like aesthetically the way the character looks. Um, I think he portrays the um, image from Beast Wars very well. They did a pretty good job. They don't use a lot of colors, but they did use them right. Uh, chroming out his legs, adding some metallic silver to change it up a little. Um, going out the silver throughout his arm with the orange. Really well, good detail paint job in my opinion, especially for the price range of this figure. You know, he's got the skin... Uh, the hands of the red skin are kind of light. He's got some lightness up there. I kind of like that. It just makes the figure um, a paint job. A, a bad paint job on this figure would make the figure, I think, look very, very bad. Because he's just not working with much. And I think they did a good job. Uh, they did a lot of uh, light um, metallic silver across the leg. Some dark gray over here. The metallic orange with the basic orange. Over here, you got a maximal symbol on the arm. 
See them here on this forearm, the maximal symbol. What I did like is even though this one's just a regular arm, over here they took the opportunity and the time to open it up and put one of his um, detonators in here. So I kind of thought that was cool. I'm going to pull it out. It's reminiscent of the show because he was a demolition expert. I thought that was a nice touch. They didn't have to do that, and I thought it was really, really cool. Um, love the f face, the way it kind of... Um, just like the cartoon, that's exactly was real dominant right in on, on his chest. But here, it looks good. It looks really good. Um, I think I would have preferred if the ears were just a little off to the left and the right so you could see more of his face. Or if his face could actually come up. There's some space here. If it was maybe a little closer to the edge. Uh, but that's fine. I love the way the hands are up here. Re very reminiscent of the cartoon. Um, some people might not like it. You could always roll this down. These do come off pretty easy, but they snap right back on. Some people might prefer it that way, uh, without the hands, but I'm a, I am love the cartoon. I love the figure and the character, so I'm going to have it like that because that's how I kind of remember him. Every time he was talking, I'd be looking at the hands, and I always thought it was kind of funny. It does have some kibble on the side. Uh, there's a big hole, which I don't like, right down the middle. But you know what? He kind of had that in the cartoon. He definitely had it in the original uh, toy version that came out a few years back. But overall, I do like the figure. I like it a lot. Um, his arm does do the 360. A little hindered right here by the side, but that's fine. Yeah, let's put that in there. Uh, his He does have the T-joint. Actually, no, it's not even a T. It's just pretty much on the peg. It goes all the way around. Uh, he does have an upper thigh swivel. His knee joint does bend. A little hindered right here by the extra rat body, but that's fine. No articulation in the ankle or the foot whatsoever, but the tail here does add a tripod effect, so he does stand pretty well. Kind of could lean back on it, you know. He does bend in some cool little poses, which I like. Uh, overall, I really like the figure. I like the size. He does come with a gun. A uh, little too translucent for my for my liking. I kind of wish it was a dark gray or a black. It does separate into two, which I thought was a real nice touch. These little touches are what I really like about this figure. Uh, he doesn't have hand grips, uh, gun grips, kind of open-handed, but they do hold on to the guns very well. Nice and sturdy. It doesn't look like it's going to come off. I kind of like him with the two guns. Looks a little better. Looks a little more like he's ready for combat, like I remembered. Um, he's, he's pretty, 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 uh, exactly what I wanted and was hoping for in the rat mode. Uh, here's a version picture of the back. Like I said, not much going on back there. A lot of kibble. But, uh, it's, it's kind of expected, uh, especially for the price range of this toy. Sizing them up, a comparison to Rhinox right here. I think the comparisons are really well done as far as uh, size comparison I think the colors uh, for each of the figure when you put them next to each other pop out even more the green and the orange I really enjoy the way these two look um, perfect man a lot of detail a lot of good color decent articulation I kinda hope they like I said continue the line in the Thrillin' 30 not many left but I would really appreciate a Dinobot Really would like to see that, especially with all the Dinobot craze uh, from the Michael Bay's last Transformers movie. And also, I would like to see Cheetor. I'd like to see that, and then that would be real easy to do a paint job and give us a Tigatron, too. So, overall, I do like them. I don't have my Prime out just yet. I'll get that out in a bit, and we'll do a complete size comparison, but really enjoy this figure. Let's uh, check him out in the rat mode and see how he looks. Here's Rat Trap in his rat mode. Overall, not a bad figure. I mean, it is a rat. Um, I did realize that his his tail is made out of opposable wire, so you can put it in different angles, but with time, I'm not sure how that's going to hold up. They did give it a two-tone. You got a, a darker brown into a gray. Uh, his feet do swivel. His rat feet a little bit. Now, be careful with this. Like I said, that comes off. So they can go side to side. There is a little extra piece here. So you could bring his head all the way down. And it still looks like it's cohesive. And you could bring it back up. I thought that was pretty cool. Also, his uh, mouth does open. Um, so, that's not bad. There's a lot of kibble. Very hard. Very hard to condense in here. Wasn't a easy, as easy a transformation as I thought. But I'm not gonna pretty. I'm not gonna ever transform him. Probably after this review, um, he's not gonna ever be in rat mode. He's always gonna be in robot mode. Uh, so overall, I guess for a rat, it is what it is. You know, it's not bad. Um, 
like I said, a lot of condensing in here. It was pretty hard to get all the pieces to kind of fit the right way. But overall, not too bad for a red. I like the eyes. Um, I think the colors are well done. I was not disappointed at all. It was a little more than what I expected, but I guess I didn't really think about the rat mode as much because I was more interested to see what the robot mode did look like. So overall, I'm extremely happy with Rat Trap. I'm glad they came out with him. I think he's uh, a superior version to the first. I think he looks sleeker, meaner, uh, more accurate to the show, just like Rhinox does. Uh, I love the scale. I think he matches perfectly scale-wise to uh, Rhinox, and even with the... Uh, original 90s uh, prime i think it goes well together i'm very happy like i said i do hope they finish it off at least with cheetor and dinobot that would be really cool um i recommend the figure especially if you're a fan of beast wars uh the, like i said the older toys were okay for the time but these are far superior and far cooler and um if you don't have it for the price i think it's worth it uh some people i've seen it go pretty high I don't think it's worth it. I think you'll still be able to find it. If not, you'll wait for a toy show. Somebody will have it. And I wouldn't spend more than 20 at the most 25 bucks, depending on how much of a fan you are. But I do recommend it, and I uh, hope you guys, if you do get it, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Um, that's all for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please um, leave your comments uh, at the bottom and your likes. And also uh, check us out on www.comicsremix.com for all your info. And we will see you next time. Peace. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.